The diagram below shows the arrangement of the teeth in the mouth of humans. Take the diagram carefully and answer the questions asked So we are told to name A, B, C, and D. So this A, B, C, and D. So A is the molars, or molar. B is the premolar. C is the canine. D is the incisor. Now it says describe the structure of each of the parts labeled A, B, C, and D. So starting with the incisor. Incisor is chisel shaped and it has just one root. So the canine has the upper part to be pointed and also has one root. Then the premolar. The premolar has more than one cusp on top and has two roots. Then the molars have more than two. Or three cusps on top and have three roots. So the next question is how many each of A, B, C, and D can be found in the mouth? So starting with the incisor, they are eight in the mouth. We have four at the upper part of the mouth and four at the lower part. Then with the canine, the canine are four, two at the upper part and then two at the lower part. Then the premolars. The premolars are eight. Four are the upper part, four are the lower part. The next one is the molars. The molars are twelve. Six are the upper part, six are the lower part. Then the IVCs give the function of A, B, C, and D. So starting with A, A is used for the grinding of food. And grinding and chewing food, and then B is also grinding and chewing food. Then C is used for tearing flesh, and then D is for biting or grappling the food. So we have the structure of the two T as well, and we are asked, what does the diagram represent? The diagram represents the structure of the mammalian tooth and this is label i to vein so i is the enamel i i is the dentine then i i i is the cementum then the i vein is the crown and vein is the root the next one says see the function of the part i i I, I, which is the dentine, provides structural support for the tooth. Then the next question says, name two diseases of the above. So diseases of the tooth include tooth decay, gingivitis, periodontal disease, and an abscess. Even mouth odor is also a disease of the tooth. So the diagram below is an illustration of the section of a tooth. Study it carefully and answer the questions that follow. So the first question is what type of section is illustrated in the diagram above? So this is a cross section of the tooth. So that's the answer for the eye. And the eye says name each of the parts labeled A, B, C, D, E. So A is crown, B is neck, C is root, now D is enamel. E is dentine. So the II says see the function of each of the parts labeled F and H. So the parts labeled F. F is the pulp. The pulp provides nourishment for the tooth. Then the H. The H is called the cementum. The H it provides attachment for periodontal ligaments. Yes. And also it supports the tooth within the jaw. The next question is, what is the function of the blood vessels to the tooth? So the blood vessels supplies oxygen and nutrients as well as food to the tooth. So you study the diagrams below and answer the questions that follow. So identify A, B, and C. So A is a molar, B is incisor, C is canine. Then the next one is name the parts. I and II in A. 
So I is the enamel, I i is the root. I i is still the functions of a, b, and c. So the molar is used for grinding and chewing. The incisor, which is b, is used for cutting. Then c is used for tearing. Or tearing flesh. Then the IVC is mentioned two diseases that affect the tooth. So we have to decay in the vitus.